Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and normal maps in Godot 3. So before we look at stuff in Godot, I want to talk about normal maps in general first. Normal maps are read through three different channels, the red, green, and blue channel. In the red channel, we have left the right information. In the green channel, we have information that goes from top to bottom. Now, depending on what game engine you're in, you may need to invert the green channel. And in the blue channel, this is our depth. And together, each one of these channels make up the norm map. Now in Godot, when you import your textures, Godot should do a good job of understanding that it's a norm map. But if it doesn't, in the import settings for a norm map, you can go to the norm map section and you can change it from detect and change it to enable and then re-import it. Now for my test scene, I've imported a model and converted it to a scene. And on my mesh, I've placed a new material. And on my material, I've placed this visual shader. From here, I'm gonna drag one of my norm maps in and I'm going to plug it into the norm map. Now the thing to note here is that the norm map plugin actually only reads the RNG. It doesn't read RGB. So if we take a vector decompose and we plug the norm map into the vector decompose and we recompose this and then plug this in to the norm map, what you see is that this doesn't look any different. If we start adjusting the Z, it doesn't make any changes. There's no change here. Now this is notable if you ever want to change the norm map intensity. So there's a few ways that we can change the norm map intensity. We can affect just the red and green channel by adding a vector multiply and making a scalar. We'll just make a scalar constant for now. If we set this to one, it should look just the same. But as we start to increase this, you'll see that the intensity starts to get stronger. Now there is a point where this starts to break down though. So this may not be the route that you want to take if you're trying to adjust the norm map intensity. Now another way we can do this is by multiplying against another normal map or a flat normal map. So we're going to right click and we're going to add another vector compose. And in here we're going to do 0, 0, 1. And if we preview this, this kind of looks like a norm map. It's just the blue channel. We plug this into the top and then we add a scalar and we add a scalar constant or uniform and we plug this into the X and Y, which is the RNG channel. And we'll plug this whole system in and we'll set this to one. We'll see that we're back at the default. We can start scaling this up. And once again, once you reach a certain point, you'll see that this starts to break down. So if both of these processes break down, what do we do? What we can do instead is use the normal map depth. In some other engines, the normal map depth is just included in the normal map. But remember in just the normal map plugin, it's just the R and the G, and the norm map depth will take in the B channel. So the way that we can do that is we can keep our vector decompose and our vector compose. Just move this up out of the way, pulling our norm map in, and we'll remember that the Z doesn't do anything in this situation. So what we can do, what we wanna do is, we wanna make sure that you can actually get data from the B channel, from the B channel or the Z. So from this vector decompose, we'll preview the Z, and if it shows up like this, it probably means that your norm map is being imported in a way that you don't want. So if you go to your import settings on your norm map, you wanna mess with the compression settings. For right now, I'm gonna change my mode from video RAM to lossless. And now from here, we can plug our Z straight in and you'll see that it doesn't have any effect yet. So what we wanna do is we wanna right click and we want a multiply, a scalar multiply, we want a scalar constant. Plug these both in and put this in the norm map depth. And you'll see that at a value of zero, you don't see anything. But if you set this to one, it looks like it should. Then if we start scaling this up, you'll see that the intensity will change, but it's not gonna get blown out and it's gonna be limited. It won't let you go too far. Now with each one of these setups that I've showed you, you can also go in the opposite direction. So you can go to negative one. And what's gonna happen here is it's gonna invert your norm map. Now with all of these setups, there is one word of caution I would say, and that is you rarely actually wanna change the norm map intensity. If you really need to change the norm map intensity, you should author it the way that you need it to begin with. All right, guys, this should cover norm map basics in visual shaders. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.